again a little late this week uh, because it's been crazy at work. And uh, we got a new deli manager. I don't think I mentioned that uh, before, but uh, the um, old manager left to go to a, another store and then the assistant manager took her spot and she's been manager for a month and a half I guess and since then a few other people uh, in the deli have left or are going to leave soon uh, some of them went to, to the same store as uh, my old manager but the new manager seems to be really slow in hiring new people. So now we have to work more uh, and our store has said that they're trying to keep overtime costs down but there's not enough people in the deli so some of us have to work overtime. Uh, but I don't want to talk about work. Uh, not for this video. Uh, instead, I want to talk about something a little weird. Or that might sound weird. But it's something that uh, affects me a lot. And, and that's um, the how and the why. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds weird. But uh, by that I mean like how stuff happens and why stuff happens. He needs to learn the why before the how. I'm, I'm always interested in, in why people do stuff. And I, I do try to see their point of view or understand where they're coming from. And but it's sometimes I have no idea uh, why people do stuff <clears throat> or what's the how, like how things came together and and how to do stuff, I guess. Like, I'm interested in the process of, of how stuff happens or why it happens. And I actually want like a step-by-step -step <laughs> instructions. It's not the how you must master, it's the why. Or uh, another example is like, why things are the way they are, like why, uh, you know, we use um, phrases and and uh, common expressions. Why we say stuff, and knowing this stuff actually does help me, like uh, help me express myself in. Uh, a clearer message and one, one of the things that I do is that um, I'll watch a movie or sometimes a TV show and then I'll go online and, and look up reviews of that movie to find out why I liked it or disliked it which you know, again, it sounds really weird, but for me, it's like I liked it or I didn't like it, and a lot of times I don't know why I liked it or didn't like it. I, I can't really explain it, but but then I'll like read other people's opinions or reviews of the movie, and then. I'll find stuff that I, I agree with and or, or 
uh, stuff that I f actually feel the same way about, but I just can't yeah, find the words, I guess. For example, when I was watching uh, trailers for the new movie Suicide Squad, I didn't like them, but I didn't know why. I didn't like them. And then after the movie came out and Rotten Tomatoes posted their critic consensus, it had the word muddled in it. And I, I knew that was the right word for what, what I thought about the trailers. I'm not sure if that made sense or anything, but it does help me. Uh, and, and especially here on YouTube, there's, you know, thousands of people uh, uploading reviews and their opinions on all sorts of stuff uh, and and I'm subscribed to a bunch of uh, reviewers and also some uh, YouTube channels that go way more in depth in depth with uh, movies uh like like there's a channel called every frame of a painting and it uh has these videos that you know, um explain uh how the the uh, the scenes convey emotions uh, just through um, sight, which is the whole point of media arts, like movies and TV shows, to show, don't tell. And there's also a nostalgic critic. Uh, he, he's pop popular on YouTube, I know. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic guy. Remember it so you don't have to. Yeah, his videos are basically taking one movie and then going through that whole movie. And uh, most times it's a bad movie. And he'll be making fun of it. But he's also um, talking about why it's bad and why it doesn't work. And he has these great editorials uh, about what just one certain topic, and they're they're uh, written really great, and and have and and they go into a great depth about. Depth. Yeah, depth about the topic he's talking about. And there's tons and tons of other review channels on YouTube, and, and I'm subscribed to a bunch of them, and I, I don't really have enough time to go through all of them. So, you know, sometimes when I'm watching a review video or uh, opinion about uh, something and the the person says something uh, about uh, about the movie let's say and then then just exactly how I feel it's, it's, it's just right on That's it. for you know, whatever reason, I can't um, uh, come up with the, that um, statement, or can't put the words together, or maybe I can, but it just seems to take me a long time to explain it, and then the other person can um, uh, um, explain how I feel and, like, 
one sentence. <coughs> so yeah, that's about it for this video and I'm not sure if it made any sense. So I'm, I'm not the best at explaining as I just explained. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure after I finish making this video, I'll come up with better ways uh, to say uh, what I said in this video. But yeah, that's what happens to me a lot. So uh, until next video, goodbye.